give life and some destroy and Ooh, so this is Dax, huh? Uh-huh. He's uh he is something else too. Welcome back friends. You are now here with Luke and Live and this is Pastor James. This is a reaction video because somebody requested that I should check out uh, Tom McDonald featured um, Dax blame the rappers. This is the first time I'm going to react to this video. I don't know what to expect, but I can kind of tell it has something to do addressing with some more social issues. Um, and, and Tom McDonald doing what he does best, of course, just uh, laying out the facts. And I heard Dax has similar views as well, addressing some of these issues um, in the best way that they know how. So we're going to look at this video and take a listen and I'll share my honest opinion with you as well. And as always, you're going to get some biblical perspective at the end. So please stay tuned. Hi friends, I'm so glad you decided to join us today. So right before we get into this video, may I please ask you to like and subscribe to this YouTube page. Click the bell icon to be notified for my upcoming video. So let's get this channel up and running today, okay? So share this also with somebody else as well. So friends, we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right to this video. I wanna know what this message is about and I think it's gonna be a very interesting one. I, I already know um, Tom McDonald for, for some reason. I've been listened to two of his videos and done some reaction. He is, he is special in my category because of uh, he, I like the way he, he thinks on certain things. Of course, not everything, but um, yeah, Let, let's get to the video. Let me be quiet and let's get to the point. All right, let's let's watch this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a rapper, but I'm losing my respect for the genre. How many songs about Xanax and alcohol are we dropping? How many kids we gonna kill for we admit it's a problem? Probably stop if it was one of us sons or one of our daughters. We know. Oh. <laughs> there he goes again. This is some. This is some facts, isn't it? This is the facts that we're talking about here. Not just all they are facts, but the. This is real stuff. I I knew, he, and it's only twelve seconds. Let let me let me go back. You know our demographic is primarily youth. We glorify breaking the law. The children in school, kids copy what we see and imitate what we do. They will go to jail for doing the things you thought them was cool. We put women in our videos exploiting their bodies. While little girls around the world grab their phone and they watch it. They need a real. Where have I been? I mean, this is is this? How old is this video? You kidding? You kidding? April tenth, two thousand twenty. I mean, this is two thousand twenty-two that I'm recording this. There was a message like that that addresses these issues. It's crazy. I've had, I've had people arguing with me, right? In some cases, some of them are church folks, right? As a minister, and I'm sitting there saying, I'm concerned about the direction that our youth are headed, right? And part of my ministry is I deal with young people. And it's so difficult sometimes just to get them to want to hear spiritual things. But, you know, at the same time, they are so focused on their phones and listening to all kind of hip hop artists that are not really telling them anything positive. And it's like these youth are being robbed away from God consistently by some of the things that's happening in the media. And it's, it's a struggle. It's, you know, it's a prayerful thing. But to, to even, you know, address and deal with that. Uh, and part of my discussion with many folks has been hey man i'm concerned about what's going on with our young people here we we our daughters and our sons we uh and and the kind of stuff they watching it has an impact on them and a lot of them looked at me like man you crazy calm down this doesn't affect their behaviors and i'm like it does man they they want to dress like them they want to talk like them they want to behave like them and thank you tom mcdonald and Dax, I'm yet to hear what you have to say. They just put their finger on the issue. And again, they're not even coming from a, a spiritual perspective. They're just talking as it is. I mean, come on, friends. You go, guys. Listed role model, not just a Barbie. They see strippers and escorts, but no lawyers or doctors. Hey, hip hop. Yeah, that that does that is something we need to address as well. What's up with our young daughters being exposed to some of the stuff that they're being exposed to right you know like videos like cardi b's videos and you know some of this stuff you know um, what is it um megan stallion some of the stuff they're talking about really what does it do to our daughters 
right? Where 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 are they gonna go from watching these these uh, role models of theirs, setting these um, examples of how to degrade themselves as young ladies? What do we think is going to happen? You know, and the sad reality is many of them, unfortunately, are following in their footsteps. And, you know, what bothers me, one thing about some of these negative examples uh, and very corrupted views these hip hop artists put out is that they make it they make uh, doing wrong or uh, living in sin, breaking the law of God as if it's a positive thing. And they don't speak about the consequences of people actually doing these things. So they make a video and promote all kind of wicked deeds and then they go on to make so much money and our sons and daughters and our youth in our, in our streets pick up those things and they go and live that life and they reap some real difficult consequences to the point some of them passed away. And these hip hop artists are nowhere to be found when these things happen. And I think, you know, Tom McDonald again is, is putting his finger on the issue for what it is. So let's get to it. What the hell happened? It was power to the people and we like that stuff. These days you're promoting that it's fun to be an addict, so I'm asking, how could y'all write that, bruh? You can blame the rappers that you know on, but your favorite song are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up? And who's to blame for who they've become? They made it look so cool. That's the point. They make it look so cool. When these things and these kids get caught up in all kind of corruption, where are these rappers? Where do they go? They just go on to make so much money and our children in, in our streets are dying. Right? So could we now blame the rappers? I'll blame the rappers with you guys because I've been blaming them. I'm just so glad to know that I wasn't crazy for doing that. Right? Now I don't put all the blames on them. Of course, you know, people make their decision, you know, people are grown. And, and but the thing is, when we're dealing, when we're dealing with our young children who, who is so impressionable. Uh, yeah, man, we got to blame the rappers. Yeah, you got to blame the rappers for what happened to some of our sons and daughters and some of our blood, some of the bloods that are spilled in the streets. We got to blame the rappers for that. You know, one thing I like about uh, Tom McDonald's music, there's not only he's not just speaking a lyrics, but when you're watching the video, he's almost he's always setting this um, example in the way the videos are sh shoot out. And I, again, shout out to his um, to his video producer. I believe his his girlfriend uh, Nova. Man, that's that's amazing work. I'm just blown away to know that this is something that is done by just a, another person. You know, this looks like. I mean, this is deep stuff. But again, the example of what he's setting here, it looks like he is getting buried, right? And as he's speaking about this, it's just a powerful, powerful way to link that video with the message of the song. Well done. Is a privilege and a choice And if you ever get to be successful You must understand the people that you influence I swear by what you say And that the melodies you sing Make wings, build dreams, and fill voids We got medication straight through voice Some give life and some destroy and Ooh, so this is Dax, huh? Uh-huh He's, uh He is something else, too even though this money seems nice, it can't come, so we must take that as a hit. That there's other things in life we should enjoy. We move mountains, we cross states, we play roles in presidential debates. So don't you try and tell me making music is for fun, and you don't care about the things that our music helped make. Man, I know I'm not perfect, but I'll change. I'm the outcome of this world and my pain, and this. Ha ha, okay, Mr. Dax. Wow, could you imagine if we had more hip hop artists like this preaching these type of messages? Oh man, I feel so happy right now. You have no idea. I just, I'm, I'm just so happy to know there are some conscious men out there, right? Men and women who understands the real issue. They're not so blind, side blinded by the money and the fame. They understand what is going on, and they're putting their finger on the issues. Amen. Can I say it? Can I give an amen now? Because this is the time to do so. Music is pills, and I promise this dose that you take won't make you say. You 
you know, I had this literally this I could say an argument with a, a, a young person, right? And, and part of his thing, he was trying to justify it, every hip hop artist. They have nothing to do with, you know, what the kids are doing. And I'm like, well, like hip hop, not just hip hop, just music in general, right? And artists who make music know very well what they're doing, right? And they know, they understand they are influencing the masses. They are changing the culture. It's an, it's a form of music. It, it transcends, not just, it doesn't stay only in, in these United States. It goes all over the world, man. We impact the Chinese folks. We impact, you know, people in Haiti, people in Africa. I mean, you name it, boy. Hip hop is that influential. Is that powerful? It, it it speaks volume, man, to the to the masses. So when our the negative side of it also do the same thing. So to sit there and say this had no issues, this doesn't impact the young. I'm like, man, you're not paying attention. You're not seeing the real story here, man. Art is very influential, okay? In some cases, more influential than churches. And I'm, listen, you're hearing this from a minister. More influential in that cases, you know? So, yeah, man. Thank you guys for, you know, confirming the fact I'm not crazy. You can blame the rappers that you blow up, but your favorite songs are about to These artists can't even talk, they just mumble the lyrics. And oh my goodness, yo, he is something else, I tell you. I think I'm starting to like this guy very, very much. A little bit too much, I guess. All right. And the teenagers listen while they rebel from their parents. While the rappers tell them pop a pill by Gucci and wear it. They say screw the police, break the rules, smoke weed, buy some shoes you don't need, rep the hood in your street. All these rappers. Uh, uh, um, uh, okay, he's just, again, he's hating the nails right on the head. So true. I mean, I got impacted by this before I became a Christian myself. I know exactly what he's talking about, you know. My first paycheck from my first job, which was McDonald in New York, I end up buying a Jordan sneakers was was like a hundred and fifty some dollars, and I didn't have any more money to even take the bus to go home. <laughs> anyway, I didn't realize the taxes were so high on that. Anyway, but yeah, I know what he's talking about. We're holding guns and now the kids want some Mess around and kill a homie, you can't clean that blood We encourage being stupid with our music And we're normalizing poor moral standards while we do it Little boys see the way that women look on our videos And assume it's real life, project that image on little girls It's unrealistic, if you're young and you listen You are one in a million, you are loved, you are different Hey hip hop! I know life moves on, but while I'm here How could you write that, dog? Yeah How could you write that? The violence, right? The corruption, right? And um, recently, one of the songs, uh, style of hip hop that is disturbing to me, let me look it up right here quickly. It is something called drill music. I mean, I wasn't up to it. I just heard that it is a real thing. And a lot of people are now uh, blaming drill music for some of the crimes that are taking place in our cities. And I don't blame them for that, right? They are saying, you know, even in London and many other places, um yeah they are coming in contact with drill music and you know our streets are running with blood and but these hip-hop artists don't realize how influential their music are they will just say we are just entertainers <laughs> no you're not just entertainers you're setting trends you are changing the culture you are changing minds you are influencing people you are programming the minds you are not just an entertainer you are a major influencer in the culture um yeah so Thank you, guys. You, you, you're doing it, man. You're doing it again. So let's go back to our song here. We need to bring this video to a close. You can blame the rappers that you blow up, but your favorite songs are about doing drugs. So what happens after these kids grow up? And who's to blame for who they've become? They made it look so
You see, this is the part of uh, I like that what he just said in in the in the refrain here. The kids see this stuff look cool. You 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 flashing your gun, and they hate cops, right? And the cops have to do their job. They have to protect themselves. They want to go home to their families. So these young kids are taught to disrespect the police, and when they go on to supposedly behave like one of those rappers tell them to behave which is not what their mom and tell them the father taught, taught them so whenever they go on to live like that and they get shut down in our streets you know the hip-hop industry just keep on rocking right they keep on doing those same kind of stuff that is destroying our neighborhood and influencing our children to do evil and and that's this this needs to be part of the discussion as well it's not like oh black on white crimes or cops killing you know the blacks in the streets or you know civilians killing cops we also have to address the mentality of what's leading and causing uh some of these behaviors as well so yeah man there you go blame the rappers that you blow up but your favorite song here you go again you know guys I think the argument is is settled it is officially settled and I'm so glad to know that I wasn't crazy I am saying I was in the right thinking that the culture and the music of this culture is influencing the world in some cases very negatively you know, there are some who still going to argue with these facts. And again, Tom McDonald and Dax put his fing put put their finger on this issue. And this this is an older video. This is 2020, man. This shows you how much I just do not realize how many voices that are speaking the truth out there. I'm gonna share with you a Bible verse. So for those of you who are still not sure, maybe if you don't believe Mr. Dax and Tom McDonald, uh, maybe you believe God. And Listen to what it says. This is coming from uh, this is coming from First Corinthians chapter fifteen, uh, verse thirty. It says, "Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Be not deceived, my friend." And the word communication here means behavior. I'm gonna see if I can get that for you. It says, if you're looking at you know my little cursor here, it says companionship interaction so according to god's word it is saying don't be misled brother it's that that which is evil will corrupt your good behaviors you may have been a young person who is raised in the church but if you subject your mind consistently to negative music negative videos corrupt you know sinful and misleading and misguiding movies is going to have an impact on your spirit and that's what the Bible says. And this is why, friends, um, even when I'm doing these videos, I'm somewhat prayerful because I don't go on to keep listening. And I try to kind of look for videos that are decent. Uh, I was starting I was starting to look at some other things like Little Nas X. 
and stuff and a lot of other artists drill artists i was like i just can't these guys are just over the top and i will not even address their videos on my channel but i will definitely listen to a tom mcdonald and others who are sharing the same view like a bryson or a dax who is talking about some of these issues for what they are um listen to what it says um one more verse here and we're gonna bring this to a close this is psalms 101 right and he, he says this and i think if you really you need to protect your mind from these type of stuff all right first of all you want to go to god and and make peace with him in repentance and forgiveness and, and get into a relationship with christ um so and the second thing is you need to set protection for your mind for your guard you know you know guard the avenues of your soul um listen to what david says i will behave myself wisely in a perfect way and thou when come when will thou come unto me i will walk within my house with a perfect heart here's the next things i will set no wicked things before my eyes i hid the work of them that turn aside it shall not cleave to me so david said i want i'm not even gonna, gonna look at the evil stuff because it's gonna cleave it can cleave to me it's not just looking don't listen to that corrupt stuff but i understand because we live in a culture that promotes the evil they make these hip-hop artists you know they're getting billions of views and a, bro a, a, a brother like dax and you know and tom mcdonald they like they're not really getting that much attention unless people push them up but the industry pushes these artists that are promoting all kind of corruption to the culture and it's a very sinister plot to either mislead and corrupt and destroy you know the the life of our of our youth and many of our men uh, many of our daughters and i think it's a war that we are part of and friends we need to pray for our young people you need to pray for yourself and take the word of god for what it is these things can corrupt good manners ev evil behaviors evil interaction with uh listening to evil music can corrupt good manners it can destroy your behaviors um, and the second thing is do like david said you know I, I will not do that make up make up your mind to say lord i'm gonna listen to godly things i'm gonna make listen to things that are positive that are uplifting uh it is a decision that you have to make i can't make it for you but i'll tell you what let's take the word of these men seriously even more let's take the word of god seriously all right friends if you've enjoyed today's video like and subscribe to the youtube page once again check out the other stuff that i have going on on this channel thank you so much for this video and i believe there's much more and i wonder how many more stuff that tom mcdonald has out there that i have yet to listen to dax and many others you guys shared with me i, I would like to hear what else they got going on so we gotta save that for future videos as well all right friends if you've enjoyed today's video like and subscribe to the youtube page click the bell icon to be notified for upcoming videos as well share this content with me comment below ask some questions give me some counsels about things that i could do better and also if you have any suggestion of any sort to the kind of stuff you would like me to check out let me know because i take these things to consideration and i make on my next video project as well so i really appreciate those of you who are sharing these ideas with me you're opening my mind to a whole different world that i did not see this side of the world i didn't even know exist so thank you so much guys for what you are doing uh no one thinks for certain i'm keeping you in my prayer and if you have any concern or anything you want to talk about i'm your man let me know and and you can t you, you, I'm, I'm i'm very reachable easy to get to and also um and also i would like to say one last thing as always guys don't forget to look unto jesus and to live by faith god bless you and have a good one